I spend some time and I like to spend time with uh, researching books for kids just because they sell really well especially when you do it right now um, and then I found this niche of course we all know about growth mindset and I so I searched for a growth mindset books for kids ages 8 to 12 I was very specific and when I clicked on my Katie spy this is what came up it's green green yellow guys this is gold popularity it means that this is a popular keyword and there are a number of books here performing well potential this is for revenue potential the revenue potential of books under this keyword looks very good and the competition is in yellow which means there is some healthy competition here that means that and in here if you look here to the left it says 288 results for growth mindset books for kids 8 to 12 it means that it's still not a fully saturated niche and if you do it right you can still rank your book uh for this for these uh keywords so write that down growth mindset books for kids ages 8 to 12 of course there are other ages um like like right here 5 to 7 when i click on that the search results show us a thousand results for this uh age range and i'm gonna go ahead and click on my kd spy and see what it comes up with for me again growth mindset books for kids five to seven down below we see here on under popularity it says that the, the keyword is popular the potential for revenue looks very good and competition again there's healthy competition so it also is a it's a really good niche for you to think about and if you're thinking of doing a book now for q4 this could be potentially profitable oh my god the glare is terrible um <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and share this with you guys because we're going into Q4 and it's the it's the it's the months of the entire year where the potential for book sales is the highest and um, it would be a great idea for you to get into it maybe even think in terms of creating a book brand around growth mindset for kids maybe mental toughness just surrounding that same topic it could be an activity book or just a book that they can read along with their parents so that's just something to think about i'm going to go ahead and start designing a book cover let's see what i come up with and but before i do that i want to go ahead and let you guys know about a little something before i go ahead and start designing i do want to share with you guys that i wrote a book called book publishing hacks how to turn strangers into customers where i share 20 plus profitable niches right now for 2024 2025 i share with you how to come up with a title and subtitle how to write a stellar introduction and book description and much more if you want to go ahead and pick up your copy do so i'm dropping the link down below so the size for this template that i am about to use is a 5.25 by 8. it could be any size you'd like if you want to go ahead and see what trim size you'd like for your book go ahead and download the kdp calculator it's completely free i'm going to go ahead and drop the link down below the first thing that i want to do is go ahead and start looking for different backgrounds and elements that i can use so that i can start designing this growth mindset book When I'm designing a book cover, I like to use different uh, backgrounds and I'll open a couple of pages as you'll see here to see what I like best. Um, and this can this can take as long as you'd like or as fast as you'd want. So I'm just going to continue searching.
this is the front cover this is another front cover i designed and the back cover a potentially back cover that uh, we can come up with for this type of activity now I'm going to go off the cameras because I want to spend some time uh, developing some interior pages for this type of book coming up next. We're back and I took about an hour to go ahead and design the following pages that I'm going to share with you. This is what I came up with so far. Maybe like, you know, like a, a prompt, a writing prompt. What are you thinking about most of the time? Uh, some lines, maybe some elements here, fishies, then ask yourself the following question. What do I think about mistakes? Mistakes are not to be feared. We all make them. So what do we do? We learn from them. So just different little quotes. Um, and I created like little pages here with our mistakes, our experiences we can learn from. Just different quotes and uh, different uh, writing prompts and things like that. But now I want to go ahead and share with you guys something like this is called how to achieve your goals in five easy steps something like this page he right here and this one make your goals smart you can find here under designs when you go ahead and start let's say goals for children so let's go ahead and start searching for goals for children and you're gonna find here on canva that there are tons of options to choose from look at this one right here let me just add a page just in case let's see and right here if i click on this i can modify this page make it my own so that it can become a part of that growth mindset workbook or book that you're trying to create or journal a uh, smart goals planner for students I would actually remove that. I would remove these colors and completely customize it to look the way that I would like for it to look. If you go keep on scrolling down here to the left, you're going to find different types of uh, worksheets that can go into this book. I like to design uh, pages with quotes just because um, it could be very encouraging for us parents to talk to with our kids and, you know, have them memorize them. Uh, for affirmation purposes dream big work hard make it happen this element right here is something that you can find under elements let's say you go here and you put uh let's say you type in dream big when you go here and you put dream big you're gonna find tons of little you know i guess quotes and images that you can add onto a page so if let's say for example i add i add this here then i can put something like dream big right and then I can customize it, never just leave it like that, add different colors, make it completely your own. And then I would add maybe like a dream catcher. Um, and you see, this is how you can start adding these elements and putting pages together. So I think this is very neat. Uh, let's see, let's keep scrolling down. I mean, the options just start searching under elements uh, or under designs. You could put, let's say, for example, water intake for children making them conscious about their water intake and their bodies water intake for children here we go so now we have uh let's say it says water tracker uh let's see health uh, worksheets uh teaching art to young children let's see i mean there's so many different options to choose from and you can customize again you can customize this however you'd like i saw a water intake page for children that i thought was very cute i just can't find it right now but yes these are just some examples of what you can do so you see healthy habits of the day color the circle here if you check here under design healthy habits for kids you're going to see a many different worksheets pop up. So let me go ahead and let's say I'm, I want to add this one right here. Um, you see, you have practice healthy habits. You can remove the background color if you'd like, and then you can make it into an activity, like cut out the uh, the healthy habits that you want to practice, you know, in order. And you can make it into like this, uh, like I guess like a vision board or some type of schedule that they can follow of as to what they're going to do next. You can customize the colors and so on and so forth. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful toward your self-publishing journey. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. God bless.